Hey guys, today I am bringing you the Starflight book tag, and this tag is being sponsored by Disney Hyperion. I teamed up with a bunch of booktubers who I will link down below, and together we created this banging book tag. The tag itself is inspired by Melissa Lander's new novel, Starflight. I got the chance to read this book last month, and it's a pretty solid read. If you're looking for a fun sci-fi adventure, or a book that's similar to the Lunar Chronicles, then you might want to pick this book up. In this book, we follow orphan Salora Brooks, who finds herself in quite a bit of trouble as she tries to make her way to the outer realm. The outer realm being a place where there are no laws. She'll basically do anything to get there, even if that means dealing with Doran, a guy from her past who made her life miserable in high school. So she basically uses him in order to get to the outer realm. As you can imagine, she's kind of putting herself in an even more messy situation. There's space pirates in this book. I repeat, there are space pirates in this book. It's kind of an exciting plot and it's an overall fun adventure. So definitely check it out if that sounds like something you might enjoy. But without further ado, let's get started with the story. Starflight book tag. All aboard Starflight, all aboard Starflight, my fellow spacians, aliens, space pirates. Just come join me. Let's do the tag. Number one, space. Name a book that is out of this world. A book that takes place in a world other than your own. For this one, I'm going to go with Truth Witch. In this book, we have this world called the Witchlands, and it's basically just full of all different types of witches. Void Witch, Curse Witch, Aether Witch, Glamour Witch, Thread Witch. There's all different types of witches, and it's really interesting. I would love to just go to this world and explore it and to see what all those witches were made of. I would definitely not mess with any of those witches, though. Like, I would not want to be on any of their bad sides because they could probably just take me out by going like... Uh, I'm dead. Number two, a black hole. Name a book that completely sucked you in. For this one, I'm going to go with Salt of the Sea by Ruta Sepetis. I still do not know how to pronounce her name. I really need to learn how to pronounce her name already. I went into this book knowing absolutely nothing about it. I had received it for review, so I decided to pick it up on a whim and read it. And from page one, my eyeballs were glued to the page. It actually made it really difficult to read because my eyes were just like glued to it. Only kidding. Uh, 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 uh. Next thing I knew, pages were flipping, hours were passing, and I had been completely sucked into this story. It takes place during World War II, and we follow four different perspectives, and they all seem to merge onto the same lane, and they kind of go on this journey together. And it's just such a beautiful story, a little bit haunting too, and I'm so glad that I took the time to read this book. Number three, Lightspeed. Name a book that you are anticipating so much that you wish you could travel at light speed to get to it. Um, definitely the next Throne of Glass book because I need it in my life like yesterday. Even though I'm terribly afraid that it's gonna break me even more than Queen of Shadows did. I'm still not over what you did to me, Sarah J Mass. Queen of Shadows wrecked me. Queen of Shadows was like Sarah J Mass breaking into my house, coming to me, ripping my heart out, throwing it on the ground, and stomping on it. That was really dramatic, and I may be over-exaggerating, but it still hurt a lot, guys. Let me just feel this pain, okay? Number four, Nebula. Name a book with a beautiful book cover. Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Beautifulness. Vengeance Road by Aaron Bowman. Drool-worthy. A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Hard Eyes, Hard Eyes, ding, ding, ding. Number five, Multiverse. Name a companion set or a spin-off series that you love. Six of Crows is technically a spin-off series. It follows a bunch of different characters, but it's set in the same world as the Grisha trilogy and the Grisha universe. For those of you who don't know, I wasn't the biggest fan of the Grisha trilogy, but Six of Crows came into my life and knocked me down to the ground with its goodness. We've got a unique cast of characters. We've got a freaking heist and beautiful writing. What more could you want? Nothing, that's what. Nothing. Nothing. Number six, Gravity. Name your favorite romantic pair that seems to have gravitational pull towards each other. For this one, I'm gonna go with a classic pairing, and that is Peta and Katniss from The Hunger Games. I'm a sucker for the girl on fire and the baker, okay? Number seven, The Big Bang. Name the book that got you started on reading. For this one, I'm gonna go with A Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket. These books really kickstarted my love for reading. I remember being in grade school, seeing one of my friends reading the book, and just being really intrigued by the cover, and so I went home, and I begged my mama to let me read those books, and she let me, and I read them and I love them so much and they just kick-started my love for reading. Number eight, Asteroid. Name a short story or novella that you love. For this one, I'm gonna go with the short story that Victoria Schwab wrote for the Archive series because it was everything. If you haven't read it yet, you totally should. It's free online, so I will leave a link to it down below. Go read it. It takes place after the events of The Unbound, so if you have not read The Archive or The Unbound, which if you haven't, what are you doing with your life? 
go read those books. But oh my heck, it made my heart so happy, but it also just made me want book three ASAP. Number nine, Galaxy, name a book with multiple point of view. For this one, I'm gonna go with the Falling Kingdom series by Morgan Rhodes. In this book, we follow four different perspectives. We've got the princess, we've got the rebel, we've got the sorceress, and we got the heir. And finally, the last question, number 10, Spaceship, name a book that you would name a spaceship after. I think I'll stick with Starflight for this one because I think that that would be a great name for a spaceship. So that was the Starflight book tag. I'm gonna tag two people. The first person I'm gonna tag is Elizabeth Page, and the second person I'm gonna tag is Kelly's book spill. You guys should both do this tag. If I didn't tag you, but you wanna do this tag, then you've been tagged. Now I have a question for you guys. I'm actually gonna recycle one of the tag questions. Hope you guys don't mind. But if you could name a spaceship after a book title, which book title would you choose? Let me know down below. Also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you'd like to see more videos from me, click subscribe. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye, choo! The tag itself is inspired by Melissa Lander's new novel. And finally, the last question, number 10, space bit. Space bit.